Hey, what's happening, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? What's happening, everybody? How you doing tonight? Um, we got an interesting conversation tonight. I'm on with the new YouTuber trying to give him, um, trying to help him get his platform together. The brother um, got some very interesting videos. At least I found them kind of interesting. And um, got reached out to me through a third party and actually, you know, um, can we do a collab? And I thought it was a good idea. So let me check the channel. I'll make sure everything's positive. And uh, yeah, man. So, uh, you know, and I love collabing with, with young brothers, man, because I definitely want to connect with younger brothers. And uh, I'm going to introduce him and bring him into the show right after this theme song. Yeah, I know how we do it down here in Taylor May Dream. No matter where we are. All right, all right. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Um, like I said, thank y'all for tuning in to Tell the Made Dreams, man. Um, got another um, young king here. Matter of fact, his channel is called Kings and Dreams. I'm going to let him um, tell you about himself, tell you about the channel, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and kick it into the uh, conversation. What's up, Kings and Dreams, brother? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, TMD? Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, so um, I go by Kings and Dreams. You can follow me on my channel on YouTube. Also, uh, you can follow me on Instagram as well. And so I am a new content creator. Uh, I started my page at the end of July of last year. And it really wasn't until about late December when I really started to kind of... Uh, build like repetition as far as uh putting out videos on my page so uh again you know i'm fairly new and uh as tmd i mentioned uh third party uh had reached out to him so shout out to uh, felicia jordan uh for connecting us and a little bit about me um so i am born and raised out of uh brooklyn new york uh lived in uh newark new jersey for a little bit and so my background, um, I have a promotional background where uh, I've did I've hosted parties, uh, I've thrown events, uh, I've also managed uh, recording artists, uh, I've booked major artists for different events uh, all across the United States, um, some abroad, uh, but you know that is my background in a nutshell. And then in reference to my channel, so my channel talks about men and women uh, both being the best versions of themselves, uh, whether that is uh, mentally, spiritually, financially, and really just trying to put your best foot forward. And uh, especially with the men, really just understanding how society is right now and being able to act accordingly and just being able to you know, hold your own, hold your fort, uh, be a leader and really stay in your masculine frame. Um, speaking of <laughs> acting accordingly, uh, I'm not going to get into that whole um, Will Smith and Chris, and Chris <laughs> Rock thing. Uh, yeah. We've already discussed that, man. And uh, I yeah. think that's going to be a, a subject of topic for a minute. Um, but I, I, I would like to say this. That's, that's how a grown ass man do not act in front of the world stage, you know, Agreed. especially if you um gonna call yourself a king. Cause I tell it, man, you know, I've told people and I'll say it again, I've told men that all men ain't kings, all black men ain't kings. And I told queen, you know, women that all black women ain't queens. It's just not, you know, let's just be real about, um, Agreed. you know, uh, at least real with each other and real with ourselves. Uh, yeah, that was <laughs> like I said, man. I'm not even going to go there, man. I'm not going to bear off to that. But yeah. I appreciate you coming on the show and appreciate Miss Felicia. Uh, y'all know that's my future ex wife, but y'all know I can't <laughs> stay married. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Let me give a shout out to Miss Marie. You know, she has life in Haiti with, with, with Marie. Um, so anytime y'all want to find out the latest and greatest, what's going on with Miss Marie. Um, tune into her channel, show us some love. Um, you'll definitely uh, like what you're hearing. So I appreciate that, Marie, um, that you're coming on with us tonight. 
I'm sure I, I, I'm, my ex, my future ex-wife is going to come on here. But tonight's topic is international hypergamy. So, and I put something, because I had to, because uh, because because King's Dream sent, actually sent it to me. And I said, well, hold on, let me make sure I got a clear picture on what hypergamy is. So right. I, I Googled it, and it says, um, basically... Um, what is hypergamy? It's the image result for meaning um, basically marrying up is a term used in social science for the act or practice of a person uh, marrying a spouse or higher caste or social status than themselves or equal caste than themselves. And mm -hmm. reason I said international is because, well, y'all know, I, you know, my channel content is basically uh, that on that international stage, not so much in the matrix, even though we do talk about things that's happening in the matrix, but I like to talk about things that's going on in the world. And men and women marry um, internationally um, for that reason. Not necessarily saying that, um, you know, like um, I forgot um, the lady who married, you know, not um, you know, that prince, you know, of England, Oh, uh, Prince, uh, is it Prince? What's the name? Uh, is it Prince Harry, I think. Yeah, Prince Harry. Prince mm -hmm. Harry's wife. Yep. You yep. know, she was an actress at one time, you know, trying to break it into Hollywood. And next thing you know, she's a princess or a duchess or whatever the hell title that they afford her. Um, that doesn't always happen. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. That's, but that's, that's one of those outliers, you know? Definitely, definitely, definitely. But I'm talking about men who come down here specifically and uh, married women of, um, you know, that that that's nowhere on their level. You know, they they, they, they marry her because, you know, uh, I always say that Dominican women are master seducers. Um, and that's not to say she's a bad woman. I'm just saying she's good at, you know, um, what she do. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, certainly, you know, pound for pound, penny for penny, she can't compete. But guys fall in love. They fall in love with the beauty because, you know, they may can't get um, a woman as beautiful of, of, at, in the States um, and without kicking out serious dough. And there's, you know, and just all the other reasons that, that you know, we, we definitely going to go into a few of them this evening. Um, you know, and, and I'm going to be honest, you know, I know the type of women that I date here in DR and the beautiful lady that had my baby. Um, you know, man, I mean, if I was to, you know, hook up with a, you know, young lady that, you know, of her age and uh, her beauty, man, it's shit. You know, she'd be trying to get the pension, the social security. <laughs> <laughs> trying to, going for the juggler. Yeah, the juggler, man. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so uh, we put ourselves into positions uh, where we can do um, that international high pergamy. So what are you, what are your thoughts uh, on that King's Dream? Yeah, uh, well, what I have noticed is is that uh, men men usually move outside of the the matrix uh, United States, mm -hmm. and they go to usually uh, Latin America or uh, you know somewhere in Asia, and what they're looking for is you know they're looking for a beautiful woman that can be uh peaceful uh feminine um you know understanding and really cater to them and you know understanding that the men are the head and that the women are the neck and that is usually why men you know travel abroad uh get into serious relationships and or marriage um, mm -hmm. th those are some of the reasons why they, they, they do travel outside of the United States, um, because because it seems as though the the hypergamy, I wouldn't even say it seems. So let me kind of backtrack here. The hypergamy in the United States has been kind of like at an all time high. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I would say the modern day feminist movement, if you look at daytime television, you look at the media, you look at how things are being promoted and marketed. Um, you know, it seems as though the ladies nowadays are more focused on 
their studies and then when they do find a man that may be uh similar or maybe at the same level as them they want something above that mm. so we travel internationally um to find a woman that can be um under at least understanding that they know that um you know we are the ones that are taking care of the responsibilities they're the ones that are taking care of the home right and, and it's interesting you said that um that men are the head and men are, and women are the neck and you know and, and to my understanding the neck moves the head <laughs> you know what right I'm absolutely <laughs> the head sits on top but mm -hmm. the neck definitely moves the head. I know when I was um, doing business and I wasn't doing shows like you were a while back, man, you know, bringing in old school shows like Freddie Jackson, Melissa Morgan and so forth. Um, you know, I, there was, you know, any time that I could not really kind of um, get through with, let's say, working with another promoter. But if I knew his, uh, if I knew his wife well, because there were some people, you know, that we interacted together. so. Uh, we kind of ran into some of the same people, you know, um, and there was there were times where you know the wives clearly running the, the business, you know, right, you know, clearly running the business. So mm -hmm. I would call the wife and I would say, hey, you know, um, you know, we're doing this show, and you know, I was discussing with your husband. I'm definitely not trying to stab him in the back, but just trying to persuade her just a right. little, just to give right. that nudge to her husband so right. he can go ahead and take care of business um uh, and you know and sometime it worked and of course sometime it didn't but you're absolutely right um uh, you know i think what's going on in america today man especially with this you know lbgt community the, mm -hmm. the whole gay community man it's 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 like man it's just you know uh, i'm starting to think my america is a modern day sodom and gomorrah man <laughs> it's just like <laughs> everything go i mean you got a man who cuts his cuts his penis off and he wins the woman of the of the year. You right. know, I yeah. mean, I, I don't understand. I mean, I don't understand that. And then, you know, you have like that 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 um that that um what's that woman named Dozer who was you know who was acting like a black woman for so many years. She was telling people she was black. She was the head of the a local NAACP and another and right. yep. station. And, but they dogged her, dragged her. Dog, yeah. she was married to a black man. She had um, two black sons, um, and this is the crazy part. Uh, I remember Chris Rock told a joke many years ago that um, he says, and he was looking in his audience, and he says, "None of y'all want to be." He says, "No white person want to trade places with me." He nope. says, "And I'm rich." But, <laughs> yep. here, but here was a woman that clearly wanted to be black she she rolled like a black woman she looked like a black woman um you know she just identified with the black community um uh, more than she identified with the european community and they dogged this sister so i don't understand how how women especially because they fall into this shit easily mm -hmm. uh, they get rock with a with, with a man who cut his penis off become woman of the year or some or some you know guy who you know at 50 something years said you know i was actually born uh i was born a man with, but but i'm really a woman you can rock with bullshit like that but you can't rock with a sister who's fighting who a white woman who puts herself in a position to get dogged out to get hassled face all those things that black women face got black mm -hmm. children and you can't rock with her i mean that's some sick shit, man that, that's just crazy so of course you know as a man I got to get away from that. That's why right. I, I can't see myself um, dating any, any anyone within the American culture, because to me, it, it's just toxic. So um, right. I, I, I have to, you know, whether it's with a, a lady from DR or, or por from Portugal or wherever, there's no right. way I can get together with, 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 with a woman in that culture and a meaningful relationship. It, 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 I just can't do it. And, and, and unfortunately, or fortunately, a lot of other men feel the same way, you know, black and white. It don't make a difference. Right. You got, because you got a lot of men from all races, man. They like saying, listen, I'm out. They, they take yeah. that passport saying, I'm out. Right. 
Uh, I agree. It's it's um, it's moving the goalpost, as you would say, you know, because um, as you said, you you have this woman who supported the NAACP, who supported the the black community, and then you have uh, you know, uh, someone who train who uh, changed their gender mm-hmm. and. Everything just everything just flipped, and, and and again, it's it's always been. I don't want to say always, but at least for for my time. So I'm 37 years old, just to kind of give everybody some context here. Mm-hmm. But like it, it it just it just seems as though at least for my time that the goalposts always seems to be getting moved. Now, do I condone that this woman you know pretended to be black and help back black people? Not necessarily, no, but. What 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 was her core value? Her core values were to help black people. So in that aspect, I respect that. And you said like she got dragged. I don't even understand why she got dragged. Like Damn. yes, yeah. Like okay, yeah, it was frowned upon. You know, you should have just said that. You know, you were white, what have you. But as badly as she got dragged, it was so uncalled for, especially when you're helping people in the community that's not even originally yours mm-hmm. and then yeah, you yeah. have go ahead oh, sorry go ahead no no go ahead keep going oh yeah no and, yeah and, and um you know and so i was just gonna say that you have someone who who changed their their gender and um to me to to me right now the united states is at a is at a such disarray to where I understand why people are, are leaving the matrix. Like, honestly, I, I have a young son, and if I didn't have a son, I, I would be out. Mm. This, 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 um, this interview would be in person. <laughs> <laughs> I would be out of here. I would be right in the. I would be right at DR with TMD. You know, just say like, "Hey, man, I'm out." It, it's 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 rough over here, and. Um, one of one of the things one of the things that I've noticed that is uh, is very interesting to me is how people can say that they see one thing but not see another, mm-hmm. and you get dragged for helping people who look like you, me, myself, and you know uh, maybe most of the chat, but then people who change their gender, it's it's not it's it's not as frowned upon hmm. yeah it, it's it's yeah it, i i think honestly man the the whole uh american toxic um just climate man it, it, it's just it's it's just you know it, it it's like up is down you know um uh, right is left uh, down is up down is up it, it it's, it's 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 just whatever goes man that you know and like you said you know, forget moving the the, the goalpost. There is no goalpost. You know, the, the the goalpost is just thrown away. You know, yeah. and if this dude who you know I've known for thirty years come to me and say, "Hey, Russ, man, you know I'm really a woman, dude. You know, we we ran track together. We've hung out. We maybe even smashed some of the same women together. Now you, no, nah, get out of here with that, man. You know, listen, right, right. I, I, I'm however anybody want to live their life. Cool, live your life." But, you know, certainly, you know, um, in my mind, you know, I don't, you know, I could be cordial and, and of course, respectful to anyone, you know, I, you know, I'm not going, to, if I see something I don't like, I'm, all, you know, oh, what are you, you know, nah, you know, live your life, but certainly don't ask me to accept every crazy idea some right. fool presents right. to me. Right. And, and it seems like, you know, that's, is, that's what's happening. And outside of, um, cause I know people want to talk about the money fact and we're getting it, but outside of that, man, it just seems when you go outside of the U S you know, um, up is up, you right. know, right is right. right. You know, um, down is actually down, down. Yeah. you know, yeah. uh, and, and, and America it's like, no, 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 none of that shit. You know, a friend of mine, man. Uh, gotten gotten a little little heat, and, I, and it's probably because he was in Florida. But he said that. But he said that um, one of the teachers in the school said that uh, 
you know, he was, I guess his, I guess his son was talking to the teacher and the teacher was miss, was saying, you know, some, well, my father, this, my father, that, you know, cause him and his son is real tight. And, uh, she asked him, what do you call your father? And he's, and his, and the son said, I call, you know, my father, daddy. And the teacher told this, 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 this 12 year old, right. That, you know, that's actually, you don't have to call your father, daddy. You don't have to call your mom, mom. And he was confused, 12 years old. So he, right. so he went home, told his father, and his father went up to school, raised all kind of holy hell until mm. the police came up there. Right. But I would have did the same thing. But how are you going to tell a 12-year-old who right. identifies his identity with his father, and this is daddy to me, that right. I don't have to get that, you know, I don't have to call my father dad or calling him dad is wrong. Right. I, I mean, I, I mean, honestly, you know, but yet just yet this same system don't want to talk about teaching critical race theory. And mm -hmm. you want to talk about teaching sick theory, but not critical race theory. Because to me, that's some sick shit, man. You 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 telling a 12 year old that um, you know. That that you know, calling your your dad, you know, your father, dad is wrong, and calling your your mother, mom is wrong. But yet, you know, and they tell you, well, you know, if Timmy likes like Joe, well, that, that that there's nothing wrong with that. That's some bullshit. Right. I'm just saying, man, that that's just some bullshit. But let me um give a big shout out, man, to my boy, Big Boss. Real talk, he'll be on the big show. Big Boss. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Oh in fact, God. I like the show that you and Big Boss did together. Yeah, uh, yeah, Big Boss, Big Boss, and I have done a have done a couple of you know shows together. Well, I've jumped on a couple of his lives, and um, I actually did a actually did a panel um, two weeks ago uh, where I had a Big Boss, I had Flyboy, and I had um, two other uh, content creators. So it was five okay. of us. Uh, nice panel interview, and then um, uh, I did an interview on a uh, Big Boss's channel. And then he did one on my channel. So uh, I've been working with Big Boss. So definitely shout out to him. Um, you know, and we're gonna be we're gonna be you know definitely doing a lot more work together. So all right, um, yeah, man, Big Boss is a good brother. Yeah. Um. So so I just kind of wanted to uh, circle back and kind of um, you know, give my take on what you had mentioned. So Absolutely. my 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 thing is my thing is that like the teachers, the teachers like like who are they to say to the child that you shouldn't call your mother mom or your or you know your dad dad or daddy or whatever the case is like you know that's that's something that's sacred in the home and people people have taken people have taken the traditionalism out and one of the one of the reasons why people uh, travel whether it be latin america abroad wherever the case is is that um we want traditionalism that you know mm. for the most part that's what we want like i'll be damned if somebody you know tells my son you can't call uh you can't call your dad dad or daddy or whatever like what like what what, what are you supposed to call me my my real name no not at all you suppose i'm dad and you call your mom mom like who are you to do that yeah. and the thing about it and the thing and the thing about it is is that like I, I I understand the overall premise of uh liberalism, if you will, but you're crossing a line. You're crossing a line and 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 um and this is one of the biggest problems that I see in the United States. Uh, oh, absolutely, by far. So that's the liberalism why... has gone too far. No, absolutely, absolutely. So that that but that's what push you know I know uh, from a male point of view that's what right. pushed men to do, go and, and and get into those um those international hypergamy relationships because right. they, they want something that you, you you know in your spirit you know in your heart you know in your soul right. man right. that this 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 don't feel right this this don't feel natural to me right. you know exactly. Um, and, and and I say, listen, if you have the means to um, enjoy your life, if you have the means to do something else, to seek other opportunities, then I say do it. 
You know, I absolutely say do it. So it's it's not all about, you know, and, and a lot of people argue that, well, you know, you go and seek those up those 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 opportunities because you know the the, the women are poor and and you, you and you know you just want to control them and all everything like that. And I can honestly tell you, um, living out of the country for almost five years, that is not the case. That is not the case I see with a lot of guys, um, not just myself. You know, I because there's a, there's quite a few cats down here, you know, that into sit that that have serious relationships, have serious relationships with these women for years, mm-hmm. and they give them their voice. They don't try to snatch their voice away or anything right. like that. Yep. Um, but it uh, and of course, if you can find a woman, that, you know, of equal status, you know, that you know maybe a professional or something. Hey, that's great. But the country, the cost of living is such that it allows you, it allows you that if my if my if my girl don't work, it allows me to be able to 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 pay for my you know to pay the expenses of my family without mm-hmm. a problem. Because in America, right. remember, it, 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 we just talking maybe generation back where, you know, where the man paid for, did pay for everything, you know, right. the black did stay home. And at that time, they found nothing wrong with it. Now, here, you know, in 2022, you know, all that, you know, that's old stuff. Don't think like that and all that. Well, you know, money always changes. The, 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 uh, that always changes the equation. Mm-hmm. And if there's nothing wrong with with the man and the woman working, they working hard, they making money, and she going out hustling as hard as he hustles. There's nothing wrong with that. But equally, I shouldn't be made to feel bad if if I found a woman, let's say in the U.S., and she wanted to stay home with the kids. What's wrong with that? But society now would tell her, you know, that 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 something is wrong with her for wanting to right. even you know suggest doing something like that. Right. No. Uh. No, you're right. And there is there's nothing wrong with that. And if you look uh if you look back in the days when uh when the women were home and for the ladies that are in the chat, I just want to make sure that I'm explaining myself properly because I don't want I don't want the ladies in the chat to say that oh you have to be home. What I will say though is is that when the women were home, uh the relationships uh particularly in the black community uh, were a lot more successful than they are now. If you look at the the uh, the divorce rate right now, it's a uh, it's about sixty percent, and eighty percent of those divorces are filed by women. So, um, like, there's nothing wrong with a woman working, but uh, as you have said, TMD, if the woman is if the woman is um, you know staying home, taking care of the children at home. Like to me, I think that builds a better foundation because the um the, the kids are with the are with the woman, uh with the wife, you know, at home. She's making sure that the kids are doing the homework, um, the meals are made, the house is clean, um, the man is taking care of the, you know, taking care of the bills. Now I'm talking about a man that is responsible and he's taking care of the bills. I'm not talking about some a, a man that is irresponsible. So if there's a man that is kind of um, you know, not handling his business, this does not apply to you. I'm talking about the men that are taking care of their business, right? So, like if you are handling all of that, so that's you know, that should be fine. And then you talk about men um, you know, moving abroad and like if a woman she doesn't work or she does work where she may have a good job, but um how the salary is in a different country as opposed to the United States where she's not making that much, you're still making more, right? So like there there's there still isn't anything wrong with that. Like as long as long as she knows her position, he knows his position. I believe that everything works out fine. And when we did have, uh, when we were really like at our best, as far as like black people um, really moving in unison, it was really when the women were uh, taking care of the home and the men uh, were taking care of outside of the home. No, I absolutely agree with you. I mean, you know, just, um, you know, using myself as an example, Mm -hmm. 
you know, I love the fact that I can still do what do what I want to do, do what I need to do. Um, you know, my, my daughter's been taken care of 24 hours a day by 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 her mother and or her mother and her her, her um, grandmother um, because I I basically um, fired my maid and mm-hmm. um, hired my man my, my you know well her mother in the place up so you know trying to keep money one in the family two mm-hmm. uh, I know that my girl feels better with her mother around um, mm-hmm. as opposed to somebody that she really don't know or not that close to especially with the baby. And this is her first child. So, and man, and, and, and like I said, it, it still allows me to do what I need to do. I don't, no. you know, it's, it's not like where you going 24 hours a day if I got to work or do what I do. Cause you know, um, you know, I do social media space. That's why we out here now, um, you know, and I also host events and do other things, man. But it allows my child to be around people that love her 24 right. hours a day. And I right. like, that. and I like that she's covered like that you know what i'm saying right. she ain't in no daycare right. sitting and she ain't she ain't off with you know with some nanny she she's she's covered with family 24 hours a day and i Absolutely. love it and like you said i think that that brings uh, a whole nother element to the the the, the well-being this the, the, the mental well-being of, of that child you know growing up and seeing and, and and seeing both parents growing up under that household of both parents growing up you know, even having that, you know, that 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 um, generational with her grandmother there. So, man, absolutely. You know, the United States, man, it's like they frown on that, and and it, it's no wonder why people are seeking international relationships instead of domestic relationships, men and women. So it's not just men who are dating, um, you know, internationally. It's women as well that's dating internationally. And whether you right. meet somebody who, you know, you are in the same status or you of another status, you know, whether it's money, whether it's education, whatever, if you form that that perfect union with each other, hey, listen, I'm, I'm with it. I can rock with it. But let me give a, a big shout out to my boy, um, Joe. Thank you. Thank you, brother, for the, for the super chat. This is a great topic. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, man. Um, actually, Kings of Dreams. Uh, he thought of the topic tonight, so I got to give him the credit. And I, I like the idea. You know, it, I think it's something that that definitely needs to be talked about. And um, because when people are moving overseas, there are more and more people that are moving overseas. They want to know what kind of relationships can I expect? You know, is is DR or Portugal or or other places that that expats are going and moving to? You know, are, are are they dragging that that American um, system with them? And most people are not. I can tell you, most people are not. Right. Yeah. Um. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, w- one of the things, one of the things that I had uh, mentioned uh, yesterday, and um, shout out to um, Yo Soy uh, Kyla. Um, she had she was on my panel uh, yesterday evening. And she talked about she talked about how when uh, you know her growing up, like uh, there was there was breakfast in the morning, lunch in the afternoon, dinner in the evening. Her father took care of outside of the house. Her mother took care of inside of the house. There isn't anything wrong with that. So in the United States. And I'm only speaking from a man, uh, male's perspective, but in the United States, like it seems, it seems that women are laser focused on chasing the textbook as opposed to trying to build a foundation in the family with the man. That's why, like a lot of homes in the United States are broken. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm, you know, something that. What you said has, has so many levels to it. A lot of layers, uh, I know. Lot, man. <laughs> lots, let's let's, lots let's layers. on you, man. Yeah, man, and, and almost like kind of walking through a minefield on that one, um, because where I don't want to knock any woman from um, seeking a higher education. And no, that's not what I'm saying at all. No, no, no. But, I yeah, know, so but, go ahead, but I'm telling you. There are going to be some people listening to this, and this was this is what they're going to be hearing. So right, I'm right, just right. trying to cover. So, so we're definitely not saying 
um, that we knock any 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 lady from seeking a higher education and to be the best version of herself. Um, but at the same time, you know, like um, America say, you know, you can have it all. And I'm sorry, you can't have it all. That's just the bottom line. Let's just be honest. You can't have it all. You know, you can't be that that's that super mom, that that big boss, um, that you know, certain and certainly uh, pushing out because anytime you go into that that management, that executive stage, man, listen, those hours require a lot more from you. You know, requires exactly. you trap. You know, it, it 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 that that whole nine to five. No, it it it. it you know, unless you just say, listen, this is the status I want to get to and I'm leaving right there. But America, the, it, the, the, the society is not going to make you leave it right there because it's always about pushing you competition, not even working right. together, you know, not even right. working. with. Well, if I know my mother is is home and my mother may have a job where she's not she's making minimum wage. If I can afford to, I would take my mother out of that job. They say, listen, I'll pay you the same thing to spend time with your grandchild. Mm. You know, but it seems like even within the family structure, you know, everybody's chasing the money, everybody's chasing the books, everybody's chasing everything, but nobody's chasing trying to raise these kids. The kids are like trinkets, right. you know, they they right. you know, they they jury, you know, I put on this watch, I put on this ring, I put on this necklace, and it's right. show, as show pieces. And then when I don't need them no more, I put them back on the side. Right. You know, which is which is absolute insane. But I see it. I, you know, I've I've seen it within my own family. And right. So, I, I mean, how do you how do you weigh that out, man? How, I mean, honestly, how do you weigh it out? I, I like like I said, I love the fact that when I come home, um, my lady's there, my baby's there. She's been cared by all day by her mother or grandmother or both mm -hmm. and i still do my thing because i hate to say it ladies and i'm definitely not trying to get on women but that whole you can have it all that's some bullshit. that's why you're having these kids with all these issues you know you got mm -hmm. you know, especially within our community man there's a lot of issues going on brother there's a lot of freaking issues going a on. lot absolutely a absolutely a lot and um with our community with our community the you know they're they're taught to go to school go to school focus on school and then uh let's just take like someone that's trying to be a doctor right mm -hmm. so for a doctor you got to be in school let's just say anywhere between what like 10 to 12 years yeah. so you start college at 18 so you're done by 28 30 years old and you know then now the woman is starting to now it's like oh my gosh i forgot to find myself a man now she has to date and then now she has to kind of you know figure it out like so by the time maybe she does find a man she's you know maybe close to 40 and i'm not saying 40 is old but i'm just saying you know like in different communities outside of the black community yes they do go to school but they usually find their mate in school and you find somebody to build with, you know? So like usually in our community, they're taught, don't, you know, don't worry about a man, focus on school. And then you're doing all of these things. You're, you're so hyper-focused on school. You forget about the man, you forget about the family. Then when you want to think about the family, it's like you have this short window, you have this short window. Mm -hmm. You know, and then another thing I wanted to touch on, um, how you have said, like, you, you know, you come home, you you know, um, you know, your lady's there, you know, your daughter's there, you know, um, you know, your, your lady's home. Uh, I'm sure you have, your, you know, your food there, your daughter's there. Everything is great. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Also, also to expound on that, like, ladies, so let's just say, like, um, you go to school, like, and, and also, why not go to school for something that may be able to that you can attribute to your man let's just say like um like like you you have a business right so let's say maybe you need somebody to run you know to run the books why not why not um go to school for accounting and then she could work for you so you could be paying her 
and then you keeping the business in the family yeah well cre creating family businesses man right um, exactly are, are as, as a matter of fact are some of the most successful businesses agree family business because the commitment is there from both parties the commitment is there right. from you the commitment is there from your wife and also the commitment is even there for your kids if you look at um a lot of you know i, I remember every time i go to used to go to the chinese store and i see these these 12 year olds counting out the money on the cash register yep. already yep. 12 13 years old yep. you know? absolutely absolutely you see them sitting over there in the corner doing their homework you know what i'm yep. saying or somebody yep. running the laundry mat you see the kids they'll yep. hey you know bring the change or whatever to the person yeah because family business is a, is is a fantastic is a fantastic idea which i think you know gives the family a lot of structure too a lot of structure and a lot of discipline because if you're going to run a successful business you have to have structure you have to have discipline especially when it comes to your your finances and making sure that you have the money to run your business not just this year but five years down the road so i think that that's a that's an absolute wonderful thing and internationally i do see more of that you know i do see more of that i, I see brothers uh asking their their significant others what do they want to do putting the money in the business helping the woman make it successful and that way they feel like they're contributing they feel like they they adding something to the family they have their own money and it's just bills for a stronger relationship absolutely i agree with that I agree right with that. i mean i mean wouldn't you know well like it it makes it makes so much sense that the the woman the woman is working for the man like like you just mentioned right you you go to um um you go to the you went to the chinese store you went to the laundromat and you would see these young children you know counting the money them doing the homework and as i mentioned i'm born and raised in brooklyn new york i also lived in uh, newark new jersey for a while you know predominantly black neighborhood but in but it but in that circumference of the neighborhood right like you go to you go to the corner store um you know you go to the corner store the own the owner the owners either the owners either are uh, hispanic um or or asian or indian right and this is a black neighborhood so why so why aren't we the ones that's owning the store where i could own the store have my wife you know have my wife maybe work there some days a week you know maybe have my son or daughter you know maybe doing the books and then as you know my wife and i we get older our son and daughter takes over the store and then if they decide to have children their children takes over the store but the thing about it is the business stays within the family. You understand what I'm saying? I do. I do. So men, blacks, guys, as men are attracted to women that are beautiful and supportive of that man. High quality men are not attracted to a woman because she makes money or educated. And I agree with that. I mean, for myself at this age, stage in my life, a woman's money is, is don't you can't impress me with your money. No. You know? No. Nope. But you have five times mine, ten times mine. It, 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 it doesn't impress me because number one, I'm very happy with my life. Mm -hmm. Number two, even if you even if I married a woman, she said, Listen, I'm gonna put 10 million in your bank. There's not much about my life that I would change because I'm happy where I'm at. Right. Ten million dollars, the only thing that's gonna help me do is change somebody else's life, not change right. my life. Right. So I, that's that's a true statement. That 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 is a very true statement. But a lot of women you know and i've, I've heard you know uh, a lot of women say that you know that they feel that their their education is is almost like a, um almost like a, a, a something negative to a lot of cats and that's why i'd say to women as well listen if you can't find what you're looking for in the united states get a passport Mm -hmm. there's a there's a whole lot of men that would accept you and love you with your education i me i'm about not just you know staying within the the borders of the u.s my thing is is for men and women you know i i mostly talk to a male community but i do have some female followers and i tell them you know 
you can do you can do the same thing I do. And I've seen women, you know, come to DR, get married, uh, support their husband, build business just like what men been doing, right. doing the, the same thing and, and leading happy lives. You don't have to stay within the four walls uh, of the United States. And whether that person is of the same status or class of you, if 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 the money factor is not important, if having the, the, the happiness factor, making sure that that person truly loves you, that that person is in this relationship for the right reasons, then honestly, who cares? Seriously. And that's the one thing I love about being in DR. Nobody gives a shit about what that, that's your business. Right. You know? I don't I, I see and I, I hang out with expats all day and their personal life, their personal business, their personal business. Mm -hmm. I don't get into it. It, it. it ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. They don't get into my business. But in the United right. States, you know, everybody and everybody got them. <laughs> right. Everybody <laughs> wants to know everything. Right. Exactly. I, I, absolutely. No, I, I, I agree. And, that, and that's a and that's a great point. Um, I, I, I I'm, I'm of the belief that if if you are if you are focused on um let me start this over so like f as far as with education wise um now i don't want to say that all men are i don't want to say intimidated but don't you know dislike that like for me i i do like a woman that's educated but like I don't want a woman to lead with her education, if that makes sense, right? Because the thing about it is, is that like I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable with where I am in my life. Like, um, like I, I make a, I make a great salary. Like your money doesn't, your money will not satisfy me. What will satisfy me is, you know, how can you, how can you help me be a better man mentally and spiritually? Um, how can you bring me peace? How can you bring me calmness? How can you make me happy? Uh, you know, when I come home, you know, when I come home, is the house going to be, you know, is the house going to be tidy? It is, you know, am I going to come home to a warm plate? You know, uh, maybe some days we make a meal together, but like, I don't want to hear, oh, I, I have a PhD or I got a doctorate. Like you lead that in the conversation. I'm out. And, and, and the thing about and the thing about it is, is that there is more of them than there are of us. So we are the commodity. Yeah. But you know something, like I said earlier, um, how women, I don't think you can have it all. I don't think yeah. men can have it all either. You know, agree, so, agreed. If, agreed. So if a man said, well, I want an educated woman, I want a woman who's professional, who get out there, do a thing. But yet. You, you want to come home to a, 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 a you know, cooked meal. You want to make sure that that house is taken care of, even when you ain't there, that when you get home, nothing is in disarray, that the food is either in the microwave waiting for you or in the refrigerator, that, you know, the lady is there at all the, all the time. There's somebody that's connected to that child, raising that child, and you want your woman to be superwoman. Men, I don't think, like I said, from a male point of view, and and what you, you, you know, not you particularly, but I know what you're saying. but you may want, or what I may want, it, it's it doesn't match reality. And a lot of cats, men and women, what they say they want doesn't match reality. Right. It just don't. You, you know, right. you got to have one or the other. Right. Like I said. If you're a man and you make a decent salary, or if you know what what you may perceive not be a decent salary in the United States, but it's a hell of a salary in Dominican Republic or <laughs> right. Mexico or Portugal or, or a few other places, and you can have that that woman at home that raises that child that maybe even do an online business, you know, yep. so that to, you know, so that may be another way that you can't you know, chink at that, having it all status. Hey, you, you, you got to give up something, man. You got to give up something. You, you oh, got to give up something. You know, because even a woman down here that, that that that's professional, look, she she going to work some long hours. And then the work days here go six six, six days a week. You know, yeah. average, average um, work week 
is Monday through Saturday in Dominican Republic, not Monday through Fridays. So you want your wife home, you know, I, I like that educated woman, but she got to work Monday through Saturday. But I want I want you to be laid up in bed with me on Saturday, you know, nine, ten o'clock in the afternoon when I get there to wake up. No, that ain't possible if she got to get up and go to work. Just like so that's why I said, you know, a lot of times what we want in reality doesn't match up. It just it just don't. There's always a give and take. And especially internationally, depending on people work hours, you know, depending on their their schedules, you know, their cultures. You got to make all that stuff match, man. And and it's work. I'm going to tell you, it, it is a lot of work, brother, because sometimes, um, you know, my lady do shit, man. I'm like, this this, this is definitely a Dominican thing. And <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that my daughter gets the American side. <laughs> this right, right, other, right. Than that Dominican side. Uh, but I encourage that international uh, hyperbole, that international relationships, man. I really do for men and women. I honestly do. I think you will be able to get more of what you want. And, and, and instead of knocking your head against the wall and telling and, and saying what you can't have, you know, like we were talking, I was on TV earlier tonight because I co-host the show. I'm um, good. Leave good living down here in Dominican Republic every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And I was saying tonight, you know, that something nice to do, even here in Dominican Republic is, you know, go check a movie out with your lady, get, get some popcorn and dinner. And I could do that for under $40. I could do that for under $40. I can't right. do that in the United States for under $200. Nope. You know? The, the, the movie, the movie, <laughs> shoot, I, I just went to see... Shoot, I just went to see uh I just went to see the new Batman movie with my son. Now my son is seven years old. Mm. Yeah, the tickets, the tickets itself, this is not no popcorn, no snacks. Tickets is like forty dollars. Damn. Yeah. So, so 37 I and a seven-year-old, forty dollars. So you add the popcorn and the hot dog. Or oh, or yeah, you just say, yeah. I'm gonna do popcorn and a soda and do dinner. Take them to Chuck E. Cheese or something, man. You don't spend two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. That, at that, least, at least. And that, that, and for me now, now it is crazy. Why would I want to spend two hundred dollars when I can spend forty dollars? I absolutely, absolutely. Trust me, I, I, I get it. I get it. And um, you know, not not to harp back on on the education thing, but I just wanted to uh, clarify my statement there. So when I say educated so i don't necessarily mean like um like go you know going to school but just maybe like being like maybe like worldly smart right you know just understanding certain things so not necessarily like book smart right um but the uh, fast forward into what we're talking about like uh with the um you know saving the money like it makes sense because if you could spend forty dollars there go see a movie uh go get dinner and you have maybe a little bit of change left over like that that's a win because the thing about yeah. it is yeah yeah the thing about it is over here like i just said like 40 dollars for the movie you know that's not even chuck e cheese or or you know whatever <laughs> it is like afterwards because you know like after him see a batman he's like man i just sat there that movie was like three hours i want to play you know you know how young kids are man so i i, I completely get it tmd I completely get it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, so let's let's take <laughs> a look. The motivational movement says she can be smart as long as she's not manning up on you. Motivational uh, <laughs> movement. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. I, 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 yeah, I I absolutely agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. Uh, and, and manning up on you, what we mean in case somebody uh, it, it goes over your head or goes right by you, you know when. I, I'm going to tell you, when I was married, and I was married in the United States, you know, I would always hear my wife out. You know, I would always hear her out. And if we got to uh, a point where we just totally disagree on which way we're going to handle this situation, you know, I would tell us, that, baby, listen, I, I heard you out. I'm taking everything what you say um, into, into, into focus. But this is how we have to do this. 
Right. Now, does that woman respect you enough to say, all right, baby, I'm going to rock with you? Does she let you be the man? Does she say, I let you go? Or like, listen, nah, nah, you know, this is my household too. You know, and I don't care how you want to do it. This is how we, you know, you know what I saying? You don't need all that. No. First of all, I, I'm not going to go for all that. I, so that that man enough, don't don't no man want to hear that. You know, no. at the end of the day, don't no man want especially, and like I said, we're not talking about, uh, you know, a crazy man who ain't take care of business, who don't allow his wife, her, his wife to speak her voice, her, you know, her, her feelings are not taken value. We talking about somebody who does all that, but at the end of the right. day, we got to make a decision and baby, this is how we're going to rock. Right. I, I, absolutely. And, and, you know, um, for, for men, like, you know, who are doing the work, um, uh, like you and myself, it takes years for us to, to, to build, to, it, it takes years for us to build to the men that that we are now and the men that we continue to aspire to be so like there's competition because th there's always somebody who wants what you have so like as men like we already know we have to compete so uh so shout out to uh i think that was a motivational movement uh who mm -hmm. said that comment right so the thing about it is is that if we're competing every day we don't want to come home to uh as he said a woman manning up on you like competing like we don't want that we want to come home to peace we already competing every day so we got to compete at home too no we don't want that no no at the end of the day i agree with you a man don't want to compete he want completion mm. he, wants, he wants to finish that you know because you've been gone out all day right so just mm -hmm. think of a circle i i left the house i went to work I did my thing. I'm on my way back home now. I get back into the house. That circle should be closed. That we should be complete, right. Right. not competing. Uh, so I want to take what um. So Nadora says everything in life is everything in life is out here for everyone to embrace. I agree. I don't like the fact, but I understand you're a black American. But now that chapter is supposed to be closed. Let me say this. Uh, me being a black American, it, that chapter is never closed. <laughs> Talk about it. Be, being a black man is never closed because, you know, just because I don't feel it here. Guess what? When I get on the plane and go back to the U.S. to deal with um, business, file taxes, whatever I got to go back and deal with, I still have to deal with that. Whenever I travel to other countries who feel the same way America does, I still have to do that. I still have to deal with that. So being a black man, uh, no, that chapter ain't never closed. It, you know, it's, it's just never closed. Um, you mean well, but why complicate your life? See, this is the thing. I, I could tell that the person uh, may have good meaning, good intent, but they definitely not a black man. When you see images, right, and I'm shown every day of, you know, you're, 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 you're violent, you're an animal, you're this, you're that. And that plays a psyche over and over and over again. Um, living that black experience, you know, they, they give Jewish, they give the, they give Israel, the people of Jewish origin, $7 billion blank check a year, right? In America, $7 billion blank check. They literally carved out land for Israel right in the middle of somebody else's land and then equipped them with enough bombs that if you're attacked, hey, this time you can protect yourself. And they did this because they said, that these people were so traumatized for three years, three years of the Holocaust, three years, that we have to do everything we can do to help them for the next five, six generations. Black people have been traumatized for over 400 years. Hmm. Over 400 years. And never received anything that even smelled like reparations. So when you, so when somebody tells me basically um, 
forget about who you are or forget about your past or basically what they're saying is forget about uh, like some people say oh, forget about slavery or forget about this well you know some i'm yet to see somebody tell a jewish person forget about the holocaust now i know somebody may think that's a long stretch but it's not because if you look at the intent you know which is hold on let me bring it back um I don't like the fact, but I understand you're a black man, but now that chapter is supposed to be closed. That chapter, how, how, how can you close yourself? The only time my chapter is closed once I close my eyes. Do I handle things differently here? Yeah. Do I feel more relaxed here? Yes. When the cops pull up on me in DR, man, I just make sure I got my little 200 pesos, <laughs> which is oh, a little less than four dollars. You know, they come to me, hey, como esta, mano, tu, tu hombre, you know, do you eat? He said, oh, see, sí. you know, I said, hey, hey, give my little 200 pesos, I keep it moving. Yeah. Uh, I don't worry about the cops, I don't worry about getting shot, none of that, you know, and you're right, it's definitely more relaxed, but that part of my life, man, is, you know, you, you can't just, you can't turn it off, you you can definitely put it away. Right. But as soon as I get back on that plane to America, I damn sure better remind myself where I'm going and who I'm dealing with and how they look at me. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. So, you so, know, so yeah, I didn't mean, yeah, go off the, the beat path from my topic. But uh, but since, you know, the brother put that out there, I, I thought I, I'd go ahead and uh, and get that point straight. And like I tell people, man, I, I got I got some cool ass white friends. Right. And we've been friends for years. We've rocked and rolled for years. Mm -hmm. And I've told them, your experience in America has never been my experience in America. Yep. And you and you have no idea of my experience in America. So because you can live in the same place, the same town, the same city next door to each other. And I promise have two totally different experiences as a black man or as a European man. That's just mm -hmm. fact, not fiction. Yep. yep. All right, so hold on. It says, yeah, you're right. Your past been nothing more but an endless massive graveyard. Wherever they went, brought destruction and war. Uh, if you look at just what's happening, man, and I, I'm gonna get back on topic with Ukraine. That you have that you have men and women of African descent in Ukraine to go to school, right? Studying now, they they not in school to like study art. They're studying engineering. They're studying science. They they're studying to be doctors. The war broke out. And they're telling them, no, you can't get out of the country. That you're not, you're Ukrainian. Basically, you're not white. So you can't get out of the country. The United States is changing its own laws, right? When it came to the Syrians and the refugees, the, the Haitian refugees, the Cuban refugees, they like, we have a, a, strict, a strict policy. We can't let y'all in. We can't let you in. But yet they changing the whole policy to let the Ukrainian people in. Why? So we can widen up America. Come on, man. It's <laughs> and uh, so I, we'll we'll do that another subject, man. But like I said, anytime somebody touch on that, man, I I, I got to tap into it, brother. I got to. I can't. I can't let stuff slide like that. It's just it's no. Just I, I, I like trust that. me. Trust me, man. Trust me. I I I get it. And you know that 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 topic that topic is like if you if you were didn't live here or aren't from here you will never fully grasp the concept because mm -hmm. it you know ideally it's something that we would like to shake off but we can't shake it off yeah. we can't yeah yeah absolutely absolutely but that's another reason why people choose to leave and 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 seek relationships internationally yep. you know whether it's Absolutely. in africa one of the countries on a beautiful continent whether it's a country in dominican republic that is still one of the reasons why people choose to leave and go into those relationships absolutely right. you right. know it's, so that that's just one more reason because you you want you, you you i think i think after a point of a person's life i know like myself I never felt fully comfortable in America. I just didn't, you know. Right. Uh, you know, I've been in the service, you know, signed my name on the dotted line. 
Um, after I got out of the military, you know, I went through a couple of careers, but I ultimately ended my career back in civil service. And I've never felt like a full American. But every time I got on a plane and went overseas, man, I, I felt better. I just, what, no matter where it landed, I felt better. So that mm-hmm. international um, thing was calling me. And even dealing with uh, women in America, it just wasn't me. It, right. it just wasn't me. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't deal with it. It just was not me. And the even have now having my daughter, who is now 18 days old, uh, the proof of that is is when I look at my when I look at my baby every night because I look at her every night before I go to bed. Mm-hmm. When I wake up, I get out of my bed, go straight to her room, even though I got a baby monitor sitting right next to me to see her. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you know, uh, and if I had not thought the way I did think, I would not have that beautiful human being in my life. So uh, I'm glad that I think international. Um, hypergamy. I'm glad that I think international relationships, man. I'm glad that I found and I'm glad for other people who found a way to get out of that that matrix. But however you got to do it, for whatever reasons, um, listen, man, I say do it, you know. And I understand your reasons for not doing it. You you got you, you got a son that you want to be there and raise. Absolutely. Yep. yep. That's called prioritizing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, you know absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but but don't but don't get it but don't get it twisted. Uh, you know, I'm 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 traveling. I'm traveling uh a lot. So like uh, Col- Columbia, Columbia. Like I, I have I have I have two two ladies there. But I, I have um I have uh, one lady in particular. Like I've been dealing with her for for two years. You know, so. I, I'm, I'm traveling a lot. <laughs> I'm, I got boots on the ground, and I'm trying to do the best that, that I can. But yes, like I have to remain here while my son is still young. But once, once, uh, once he gets older, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm out of the matrix. I'm out. All right, all right. That's no, nah, that's great. That's great. I, like I said, man, it, you know, you just, you just get to the point, man, where when you can't tell which way is up. Mm-hmm. And I know this way is up, but the culture is saying, no, it's down. It's this way. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hold on. How do you spell up? U-P. Okay, so that goes that. No, no, no. U-P may be spelled up, but it's this way. You know, <laughs> it's this way. So right. No, no, no. North is, I'm telling you, man. And, and, and for me, um, that's what America, re- it, it just re- represents everything that I'm just, uh, just the craziness that that I can't get with, you know. I I know I don't belong there, you know. I absolutely know yeah. I don't belong there. It, it's it's like sitting in a room, uh, you know. It's like sitting in a room, you know, with with a bunch of snakes around you, you know. Absolutely. You, you, <laughs> you know, it's like hey, listen, absolutely. get me the hell up out of here, you know. I got <laughs> snakes. <laughs> get me the hell up out yep. of here. Yep. No, yep. got to protect your peace, man, at all costs, man. So are you in, uh, uh, you said you are talking to someone, you know, just talking to someone internationally. I mean, yeah. So, know. yeah. So I, I have a, so I have, I have, so I have two ladies. So I have two ladies that I'm dealing with. Um, one, 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 I, one, I like more than the other. Uh, so I would say, uh, so I would say, yes, like I'm in a relationship I'm in a relationship with both technically, but there's one that I like a lot more than the other. All right. Well, see, you know, I, I'm a polygamist. I I I, I believe in polygamy. So me when too. I can't make up my mind, I just say, hell, keep them both. Oh, be, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm saying I'm keeping them both for now, but there is one that I like more than the other. So Yeah, I got you. See, I'm going to say that on your channel, not on mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Listen, yeah. man. It, it ain't no, it ain't no secret how I rock, man. It ain't no secret. Even my lady knows now. Don't I ain't saying she like it, but oh no, absolutely, but, absolutely, you absolutely. know. I, but I don't lie in relationships either, brother. I, I don't. No, nah. no. If you if you ask me, hey, uh, did you sleep with her? Yes, I did. 
and um, oh yeah you know, yeah yeah oh yeah stuff like that yeah and I'm, I'm, I'm just saying i i'm not gonna say that i like one more than the other i got you i got yeah. you yeah, yeah. And, 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 but you know but like i said that's the beauty of um like the man said up there you know embracing life embracing everything i mean i could yeah. honestly live the same type of lifestyle in this in the united states like I said, it just it would just cost me an arm and a leg to do so. <laughs> Trust, yeah. Talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I, and I, and I, I mean, I, I believe I believe in I believe in polygamy as well, and also and also not to get too off topic here, but like men, men and women, we look at sex a lot differently. So, mm. like um, men, you know, men men we look at sex just like like we can we can we can have sex and be done with it usually usually um not saying women can't so i know i don't want the ladies to you know get offended but usually the woman has to have some sort of connection in I, order to have relations usually I, i'm gonna tell you that that statement used to be true used but to be, i okay. think i think i'm be honest i think just as many women can disconnect them, themselves emotionally um from sex that look just like a dude I, i've seen it i'm telling you brother i i've seen how some of these ladies roll and they they roll like dudes they roll like dudes like listen you know uh you know i, I mean how do you think a a, a a prostitute you know do her job for years and years and she well, can't 400 dudes she ain't connected to all of them all they was with 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 somebody who who paid me money to to do a service and i kept it moving now i'm not saying all ladies who who do that are prostitutes i'm not putting them in the same same um the same camp what i'm saying is that women now uh oh they could do it brother they could absolutely disconnect the emotion from um from the sex i'm telling you i've i've seen it i've seen it over and over and over again from the, the most innocent women that you like damn i ain't know you rock like that like you know I keep <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> right no I, I i hear you i hear you and uh you know i i would say i would i, I would say nowadays more more mm -hmm. more have more and, and i and i've seen it as well i've seen it as well I've also I've also seen some of those women who have tried to kind of be like us and do that, but they they still yearn for that emotional connection. Mm. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I would agree with that. What's up? This is my brother Dre. What's going on? Dre says matrix women are starting to accept relationships if communicated if communicated to up up front and brother still lie well that's just like see that's what i don't understand you know yeah. um you know whatever this is the thing social media the internet has made it so that you can find somebody who likes the same thing you like of a opposite gender whatever proclivities you like you like choking a woman you can find a woman that like being choked right. you know you you want a woman who who has an who you can have an open relationship with you can find a woman who like i'm down to have an open relationship there is no need and i tell brothers that all the time there's no need to lie to women today and when you lie to a woman you basically steal her choice she ain't mad because you lied to her. she mad because you took her choice away because right. she might have said yes she might have said yes yeah so i say what's the sense of lying what's the sense of lying when the truth would do right yeah. And some people believe what's the sense of telling the truth when a lie do, <laughs> you know, but you got to get to a certain stage in your life where, listen, I'm, I'm going to be my best version. I ain't got to lie about being me. And that's where I am. Yeah, that's right. where I'm at. Like I said, nobody can ever blackmail me because as soon as you tell me what you blackmail me about, I'll tell it my goddamn self. <laughs> right. Exactly. And I mean, when, when you, when you make up these lies, you got to, you, you got to continue with the lie and then you got to keep building and building and building upon the lie. So like for me, for me, and, and I, and I, and I believe most men would think like, like me and you uh, TMD, 
when you just tell the truth, it gives you that peace of mind. You know, whether that woman may feel a way, she may not like it, but at least she knows. So instead of just saying, oh, baby, you're the only one I'm dealing with, and then you got to creep and make excuses so you can see your other girl or other girls, like, no, stop the, you know, um, I was going to swear, but stop the BS, like, and just say, listen, like, I, I have you and I have two other women that I like, and that's that. Like, if you want to roll with me, great. If not, I respect it. But as opposed to just saying, oh, baby, you know, you for me, like, come on, that's cap. We don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. I, I, honestly, I, I find it, I find it weak. Honestly, I, I just I just find it weak. Yeah. Just to be honest with you, you know. But look, brother, man, because it's just after the hour, man, we've been on here an hour and 15 minutes. I normally do my hour. But brother, I enjoyed the conversation, man. I enjoyed Absolutely, meeting you tonight. Uh, Cause you know we we've been we've been hitting each other up on WhatsApp back and forth. So man, Absolutely, it's just man. pleasure to, to um, have this conversation with you, man. Uh, I I hope and I wish great things for your channel, man. Definitely hope. My and I want everybody man. who's watching my channel who may watch this later, man. Go to Kings and Dreams, just how it's spelled right here. Get get the brother a a subscription. It don't cost you nothing. I promise it don't cost you nothing. Get the brother, <laughs> hit, hit subscribe to the brother. Leave a comment. Let him know that you, that you rocking with him from TMD, and let the brother know, man. So anyway, hit go to Kings of Dreams, man. Show the brother some love. I appreciate you, man, for coming on tonight, and uh, hope we'll, hopefully we'll do this again uh, very soon. Absolutely, but what do you man. Say to the to the audience tonight, man. Before you break out. Absolutely, man. Uh, well, first of all, uh, first of all, I just want to thank. Uh, shout out to uh, TMD for having me, man. Um, you know, you 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 you've been somebody. You know, I, I've been watching for a little while, and uh, big shout out to uh, Felicia Jordan. Um, she actually she actually brought okay. her name up to me, and uh, she was like, uh, maybe you should do a collab with TMD, and I was like, oh hell yeah! <laughs> so um, I was very <laughs> excited. You know, I was very excited when she brought your name up to me. So again, thank you for having me up here tonight um you know shout out to everybody in the chat whether you agree with what we have to say or not um you know i value everybody's opinion absolutely and um you know uh one of one of the things i just wanted to say man is um you know men men we travel abroad because you know we you know for the most part we we want we want peace and we we just we we just really want peace we want you know we want that femininity we want that you know, we want that, uh, we want that submissiveness and, you know, and I'm only talking about the men who are taking care of the business. I'm not talking about men who are not taking care of their business. If it, if it's a, uh, uh, as they would say, a Pookie or Ray Ray, I'm not talking about y'all, the men that are taking care of your business, man. And, um, again, shout out to TMD. Uh, I'm going to talk to you offline because I have uh, something else that I want to uh, bring you on on my channel for, uh, very soon. But again, everybody, make sure that you subscribe. Kings and Dreams. It is K I N G, the letter Z, and Dreams, D R E A M Z. Follow me on Instagram. Um, also, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And thank y'all, man. And stay purposely purposeful. And I'm out, man. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. All right. All right, ladies and gents, uh, thank you once again for your audience tonight, man. You could have been anywhere but decided to spend this time with me like i said young content creator man i just wanted to give this brother a chance put him on a platform as people have done with me I, as i've done with other people and just show some love that's what it's about anyway um have a good night man whether you choose to stay date in the matrix date internationally however you want to rock and roll i always just say man be honest with the people that you're with it won't complicate your life but lying will Peace and love, family. Peace and...